for cricket to be on the big stage. <laughs> what was it like walking out there with Alyssa to open the batting there with that 80,000 behind you? Did it, did it feel like a normal day? Nah, I sort of had a look around at the crowd and, and said to Mitch, how cool is this? We're about to to open the batting for Australia in a World Cup final in front of 80,000 people and you know we soaked it all up and enjoyed every moment and, and had a lot of fun out there as well. Sometimes if you get on the big stage or when you've been playing for your country for a long time that you play your best when you enjoy it and we certainly did that tonight. You mentioned Mitch makes your life easy, it certainly looked like it out there tonight but just what is it like batting with her? Yeah, uh, it's easy. Um, we've got great relationship running between the wickets. Um, you know, she said I'm hitting the ball really well, so just get me on strike, and, and that's her job. And then obviously when she gets out, I know it's my turn to sort of take the game on. So um, I think we work really nicely together. We complement each other really well. Um, you know, today was a great day for both of us. So um, you can't ask for much more than that. There's been various times in this tournament where I suspect it's been pretty stressful out in the field. The latter half of that game, when it was pretty obvious which way it was going to go, were you able to just look around and? So what was going on? Yeah, definitely. I think sort of once they needed, you know, fours every ball pretty much. I said to Burnsy on the sideline, I said, we're just we're winning this World Cup. Um, how cool is this? Enjoy the next 20 balls or 30 balls, however many were left, and um, soak it all up because the crowd were amazing tonight. They were unbelievable support, and pretty much 75,000 of them were on our side, I think. Mentioned sort of losing yourself when you're batting, maybe a distraction from other things that are going on. Have you felt that through this tournament, maybe particularly tonight? Yeah, definitely. Um, batting's my happy place. It keeps me really calm, um, and it's, I've just learned to enjoy the game for what it is, what, whatever it throws at you, good, bad, indifferent. So um, it's been really nice to get out there and, and perform on the big stage and, and contribute to the team's success. Play, play with the tournament, the limelight that comes with that. How does that sit with you? Yeah, not great. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, if, uh, if you had asked me six months ago that I'd have this sort of run that I have. Um, with the bat I'd probably laugh at you so um, I'd rather take this than, than the other way around and as I said being able to contribute to the team's success is first and foremost the, the thing that drives me. You've played a lot of cricket in recent months, how are you going to enjoy this, you know, how are you going to celebrate? Um, not sure actually, I feel like there might be a few sore heads this week, um, so we'll see. You, uh, sorry, yeah. oh, who's generally the best in these, in these celebrations? Oh, I think we'll have a few people on the podium at the end of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what did the group talk about after India and Sri Lanka? Because the, the batting group particularly just came out against Bangladesh. Totally different looking group. Um, we, we just sat down, um, the six of us as a batting group, and had a really honest conversation about how we were feeling. Um, talked about, you know, maybe we weren't playing the brand of cricket that we'd, we'd sort of signed up to play when we walked into this team. Um, and we, we knew that we weren't far off as well either. We, we also spoke about we'd played on two pretty difficult wickets from Spotless Stadium that didn't bounce to over at the Wacker where it did bounce. Um, so they were quite challenging conditions and we knew going to Monica and Junction that they were going to be pretty pretty good batting wickets. Um, if we just backed our skills and played really nice cricket shots, I think, you know, we forget sometimes that, um, you know, in the men's game, T20 is probably a bit of a slog fest, whereas, you know, I like to think um, the female game's a bit more traditional and we play proper cricket shots, so um, hopefully we did that. 10 for 3 against Sri Lanka and when you looked at your hotel room on the morning of the semi-final, probably a couple of points where you thought this had gone, right? Yeah, I didn't even open my curtains. I couldn't bear it. I looked at the forecast all week and just said, I can't do it. So, um, And even when we got to the game on the way, it was pissing down with rain. Burnsy said a street was flooded where our house was, which was 10 minutes from the SCG. So it wasn't looking great. And then all of a sudden, um, the covers were coming off and we were getting a game. So we were just <laughs> really grateful to get that opportunity, um, especially the torrential rain that was had. And um, we just needed a bit of luck to go our way in the tournament. And that certainly was up for this group. Yeah, probably hard to look at the bigger picture tonight. You've got a party to have and some celebrations to do, but can can you see what this has done for the game? Um, may, we won't maybe feel the full effects of it for a little bit, but I think um, we're on the way to something special in this country with women's sports. So I'm really fortunate and grateful to be a part of that. It's a nervous twitch to play with things. So <laughs> just looking for some more creds or something. Yeah, well, I'll just draw on this later. <laughs> draw Katy Perry. So you did one. I need to get a few others in the group. I've just forgotten about it, but I had to get money, so I had to give me some hair. Someone had to.
But all that stuff about not wanting to face your filing, not wanting to face India, that, you know, that was just a load of rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was mind games. Nah. <laughs> nah, honestly, I just speak my mind. Um, I don't particularly love bowling to India. My figures don't always come out great. And with the way that I bowled that first game, it was honestly tripe, bit of tripe dished up there. So, um, I know I've been bowling better since then, so coming into this game, I wasn't exactly not wanting to bowl to them. Um, the way it came across in the media came out that way, but it's what you guys do for a living. So, um, yeah, it's cool. People were saying it's mind games. You can think that all you want, but it was actually just kind of fun to kind of read everything on the internet. Twitter's a absolute gem of a place sometimes. Yeah, quite a remarkable tournament after that game and especially with no Tay, no pairs in the lineup, you feel like you had to shoulder a lot more responsibility? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously trying to lead the pace bowling attack is kind of hard when you're not the fastest bowler in the team. Um, <laughs> but I don't know, for us, well, for me particularly, I just wanted to execute the plans the best I could. I think for myself, having those two out didn't really change too much in terms of what I did with my lengths or with my cutters or anything that I try to achieve. It just meant that there was obviously a little bit more pressure on me and I don't really mind that. When um, that first over went for 16, was that the, the kind of the nerve settler that you, I mean, in, in today's first over went for 16, not more, sorry. <laughs> I was like, the, the thanks for bringing day. that up. No, yeah. no, I, the, the one today. Was, was that the nerve settler for this game that you guys really needed, all the hype about the game, the crowd? It was honestly awesome. Um, I, I was nervous, but I was also more so excited than anything. I think Meg has mentioned a couple of times that we're actually just really calm. I think we're just happy to be there. And I think the moment really hit us when we were on the bus and we saw the people queuing up to get in just for us. Like that was such a, a special occasion. And, and once we started warm up, we were just ready to play some dang cricket. And the way those two went about it, um, Midge and Moons, I don't know. It kind of just really set the tone in terms of that's what failed in the last time we played India was our batting. So, uh, batting, so um, they want to make up for that, and they sure did that. Were you able to soak it up that last say ten overs when it was clear you guys were going to win? Were you able to just take a look around and go, "What's happening here?" Sort of thing? Yeah, I think I was soaking up the whole time I was out there. I don't know. I, the Mexican wave and the lights on the phones. I don't know. Everything that was going on was just. It was absolutely insane. It's kind of the stuff you dream about, but you don't actually think is going to happen. And um, I didn't really think we'd probably won it to the last maybe five overs to go. You just never know with cricket. Um, so once we could seal some late wickets there, it really just kind of put the nail in the coffin and we could celebrate. And I can't think of any better way than being on the field and actually bowling the ball at that time. So. How much did experience help you today? You've done this so many times. This was India's first final. Do you feel like they struggled with the occasion? Yeah, look, it's hard to know, really. I think T20 can be a fickle game. I think we just batted them out the game in that first innings, um, which put them under the pump immediately from the get-go. So um, people like Verma, you know, she's she's an X factor and it's either going to come off or it's not. And I think you know, obviously getting the early wicket of her just amped us up so much and maybe set the tone for, for the rest of the innings. Um, but they're going to learn from that. I'm sure they've got a bright future ahead. Yeah, that's this team. Obviously, you've got 50 ever World Cup coming up. It must be a huge appetite to get that title back. Gosh, I, you're, you're thinking way too far ahead for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying over there that I haven't even looked at my journey when we leave in South Africa in a few days. So, um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Obviously, the last 50 ever World Cup didn't go to plan. Um, it's in a conditions I don't think they'll be too dissimilar to Australia. So, And um, I quite like New Zealand, so hopefully I'm in the team then. Now that it's done, how heavily did the pressure weigh on all of you? And, and sort of, you know, in those moments where you thought, oh, this might not actually go to plan, what was that like and did it have? How much thinking about it? Um, not a great deal. I think there's always pressure on us to perform, whether that's in a World Cup or in a Tri Series or anything like that. So, obviously, losing that first game to India just increased the pressure for the next three games. We essentially played four knockout finals in a row and. Um, I guess a few of the players kind of thrive on pressure. It's a good thing, and I think when players are coming hard at you, which we knew every team was going to do, um, we we're going to be the hunted. That's for sure. Um, yeah, it just made for a really bloody good tournament and a really good contest every single match. How do you plan on celebrating? <laughs> uh, I can't say on camera. No, nah, um, <laughs> a few bevs. That's for sure. I'm just going to enjoy a few beers with my teammates. I think the the best part out about our team is we absolutely love being around each other and. Yeah, there's been a few tears around. Um, we want to hold them in till we probably go to bed tonight, but um, yeah, just enjoy each other's company. When do you head off to South Africa? Win it. This is the second finals that I've gotten into after the 2017 World Cup, so yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Do you think the team struggled to deal with the nerves of the big occasion today? I don't think so. I mean, uh, once you are onto the field, you just zone out, so I don't think we felt nerves as much, no. In terms of the fielding, did you feel that you struggled to set the tone in the field for the, for the bowling performance? Yeah, initially, I mean, if you give chances to people, uh, to batters who are in form, I mean, they are going to utilise those chances. And if you, I mean, anything, it could have gone either way. 
uh, but the chances we dropped probably costed us. But then, yeah, it's just not the fielding. I mean, we could have been better in all the three departments. Yeah, in terms of the bowling effort, obviously Alyssa Healy was in amazing form. She hit you for several sixes. So just tell me as a bowler what it's like to have a batter of that quality coming at you so hard. Uh, you, you do have plans against a batter like her, but then the kind of shots that she played were amazing. And sometimes you can just stand and, you know, uh, acknowledge and kind of appreciate the shots that she's playing. So it was one of those days when uh, I was at the receiving end. Yeah, obviously, in terms of the tournament as a whole, it's a very young team, isn't it? One of the youngest in the tournament. So how positive is that to know that there's a group there to take forward? Uh, the good thing is that we're just 60. I mean, the youngsters, I mean, it's a team which ranges from 16 to 30 and the average age is 23. So, I mean, a lot of them have so many years to, you know, learn and get back and play good cricket. So, uh, we, I mean, we're just hoping that get everything, all the departments can just get better from here. 86,000 people in this stadium. Obviously, you didn't get the right result, but how special a night was this for everyone involved? Uh, firstly, I mean, uh, it's it's. I would say it's a global uh, uh, the record that was set today of 86,000 people coming and watching a standalone women game. We had Billie Jean King come in. And we had Katy Perry perform. I mean, it's it's huge just to meet them in person. So uh, it was. I, I I would say that I was privileged to be present here to be part of this uh, event. But then, yeah, just. It's just uh, disappointing that uh, to be on the uh, wrong end of the match today.